about 10 minutes later and we are back so let's just do this to demonstrate also I'm gonna kill it kill it because fuck it so I made a few quick changes that I will demonstrate once we are uh, once we get going so I'm very happy about being human because it'll make this part a lot easier because I can wear a secondary ring as opposed to cling now I think if you fall from this you I don't know if you die but you're gonna take a lot of damage Black Katanaman is quite butthurt about this predicament, however. So as you can see, yeah, he uh, knew we were there. So I've uh, swapped around my spells. I've whacked Soul Ray on. And due to having that extra slot for magic, I have put on... That's weird. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, so the Demon's Pranks there. Cool. That's kind of sucky. So because you attune, um, because I tuned heal first, and yeah, they're slightly out of order. Yeah. Oh well. Fuck it. Sublige. So you saw everything else I did, bar that. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do this. Let's get a few more. 40? Let's just buy all of them. Holy shit. Wait, how heavy am I going to be now? Oh, that's a bit of a predicament. Alright. Plonk. 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 So, as a reminder, I haven't upgraded my weapons any further except for this. And I just gave myself some health and some stamina. Because that's going to be a lot more useful for what I'm fighting up ahead. Yeah, so there we go. 4,379. I definitely overshot. I overshot by just sub 9,000. <laughs> crazy. But I claimed that you'd uh, get 13,000. 13, how foolish of me. Let's see how much that this does to that their uh, storm beast. If I can hit it. If I can hit it. If I can hit it. Anyway, um, cool. Yeah, this is the Get Fuck Cliff, as I was describing previously. I'm assuming this is a new episode. This will probably be the fourth part of my assault on the Shrine of Storms. Holy fuck. So now you know why I got that extra stamina. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Um, so I want to do this. But I'm contemplating maybe this was a terrible mistake. Or not. Fuck you. Yeah, uh, you gotta be careful of their bullshittery. I also grabbed some more crescent, just normal crescent moon grass, because, well, you know. To top off. Because this level can be a little brutal. Alright, we'll see what we can do here. We can probably outsnipe him. Plonk. 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 We'll trade if we have to, I don't care. Gotcha, fucker. Alright. Holy fuck, though. All that stamina. And really, like, just... Uh, yeah, so... That's the hit... That he... Fucking Christ, he's spamming it like no tomorrow, isn't he? I mean, I am gendering a skeleton. I don't know if that's the best I... Huh. Well, I guess discussing uh, the politics of gender of skeletons don't yeah has no bearing. Ah, uh, but Undertale, I guess. I mean, I as far as I know, Sans and Papyrus identify as guys, right? I don't fucking know. I don't know enough about Undertale. I'm good. I'm good with my ignorance. Using luring, recommend it. Haha. Boy, I hope myself I didn't I hope I didn't put myself in a giant pile of shit just then. Radio. Um, for some reason we're ignoring uh, ignoring Demon's Prank. It's hard to know if they're going for me or Demon's Prank. Hmm. 
I can see it's uh it's for me. Now this might look really stupid, and yes it is. Uh, let's see how much soul ra what the fuck I'm getting caught in that. Soul ray. So if those normal skeletons are blowing through my guard, these guys will too. Now at least the boss isn't actually that bad, if you know what to do. Maybe I should have upgraded my weapons to 5 or 6. Or at least the guillotine axe, because that's apparently what I'm going to be using. Okay, so that's pretty decent. Hmm. But you can probably get it. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much as I was anticipating. Shouldn't have blocked that, should have just... Oh! Oh boy! <laughs> oh, that's great! Oh, that, that actually scared me. Good shit, skeleton. This is giving me a run for my money. I like this. This is what this game's meant to be like. Oh, this is great. That's not even sarcastic. No, this is good. I haven't actually had trouble like this for a while. I'm enjoying this. Alright, soul remains. Oh, so I didn't show what I could make out of the swollen demon soul. I didn't talk to her being. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well. Not right yet, at least. So you'll notice that gentleman over there is glowing. Uh, yeah. That'll be fun. Let's have a look what happened here. Forward, forward. Hmm. This is when having a dark shield would have been quite handy. I forget if this goes through pillars, because if so, fuck this. Oh no. Oh. So we'll uh, come back and get that item in a second. The problem is these guys respawn. Because uh, Reaper. Who is hanging just down there. Oh uh, yeah, so these guys that glow, as you can see, they shoot magic beams. Actually, wait, no, what I'm saying, the Reaper's just past him. Ah, oh, fuck this. Boy, if it sounds like a cat outside my door, kind of hope it isn't. It is. So he has fallen into the boss room. We will not survive that fall. Item. Dagger, huh? So these are the quote unquote female shadow lurkers. They are assassins. So that's a thing. Yeah, so honestly, that cliff, the uh, get fuck cliff is probably the harder part of the level. Once you're in here, it's pretty manageable. Um, if I had better magic resistance, it'd be even better, because like what? I've got 30, a block of 30, and only 107, compared to all my other stats. Ah, uh, well the boss ahead is way more physical anyway. He has no magic, so, yeah. Yeah, we, we'll deal with it. Doesn't matter too much. So we got this path here. There is another one of those beamy friends. But there is, um, on the lower level, not this part. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the cat inside my room. Gonna have to at least. Kind of hoping she didn't wake up. She was on my bed for ages. Um, during this session, so. Hey, items. I forget if there's a one or two. There's two. So they don't do that much. Oh, is there a third? It appears there is. Oh fuck. Whoa. Go for the overhead in the hopes to get both and of course did not. Now I think there's only two, but it looks like there might have been a third. Which I wouldn't have expected. Now they do respawn. And we are coming up to yet another get fucked cliff. I don't think it's as bad from memory, but 
the fact that it says rush makes me nervous. Fuck is that? So, um, I don't know if it's from here or above. You can see that skeleton landed on something. We don't have that same privilege. The main thing is, at one of these cliffs, either above or here, there is, um, you can do a kind of cancel out glitch. We hit, if you hit the ground right as you die, um, if you, sorry, if you, when you hit the ground right as you die, you hit quit game and you go to OK, you can perform a, um, well, a quit out. And you will be, well, there, alive. In, um, in Dark Souls you require, uh, full control, spook, etc, whatever it's called, depending. Yeah, in this game, I don't know what you need for it. Maybe second chance, which is the miracle we will get from the boss ahead. So if there's another one of these, um, assassins, female Shadowman, Shadow Woman, coming up. So this is just your standard punchies. But we're not going to take any risks. For some reason, I almost feel like these guys are going to be tougher, even though, well, of course they're not going to be. I think one typically spawns behind us, so you got to be very careful. Now this is the part where I could die, and this will suck. There we go. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Groovy. We did it. Excellente. Ah, cat's outside my room, as I said. Hmm. If only someone else in the house could look after her for like five minutes, that'd be great. Anyway. <laughs> Enough about that. Story soldier's soul. I should have read that. Hmm. So, I was talking about slugs earlier. Anyway, we had a brief interruption there because, well, probably the better decision to let the cat in the room, but in the meantime, you saw those white things. Speaking of white things, we've got a white flop on the floor now, meowing at me. Girl, relax, we gave you tuna. Uh, those things, I don't know what you call them, but as you saw, they explode. Not great, to be completely honest. I'm not a big fan. I'm just finding out the herd, because these slugs aren't too bad, but they can hurt. Also, you can miss them super easily. These are phosphorescent slugs, and they drop sticky white stuff. Aha, lo and behold. You need to calm down. So this, um, this place is actually pretty rad. Ah, sucker stone, sick. I'll look at that later when I'm not in danger of getting blown up. It is a valuable treasure. Oh, Ooh, I was lucky. So yeah, these guys are bright. It's um, sorry, it's kind of talking to the side of the mic there. It's kind of like the uh, salamanders, the flame lizards in Stonefang. They have some weird lighting going on. Not bad by any means, of course. Yeah, so these guys don't do a lot, as you can just see. Groovy chunk of dark moonstone. I don't know how much the explosions will do to me. I just don't want to die now. Because, yeah, this is the easier part of the level, as you can see. Because we are incredibly close to the boss. Which kind of begs the question, is it better to just go do the boss now and then come back? Ah, fuck. Ah, oh, well. Oh, come on, girl. Yeah, so this is the real problem. Having multiple. Hmm. Um, by the way, these things can fly through walls. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, not great. What the fuck? Like so. Don't kill me, please. Ah, oh, sick, we need to come back here anyway. That's a colossal waste, but I got heaps of late moon, so who cares? Get out the herd. No reason not to. We got heaps of arrows. I only bought so many, because, like, what's the point? I'm going to be holding on to them otherwise. Wall the souls. Not going to help me in this world. Until I'm out, at least. So the sticky white stuff here is probably going to help me quite a bit because it means I might be able to do Stone Fang next. 
Um, I'll do Valley of Defilement first, perhaps, but... Yeah. Oh, this will be the Hitless. And the Ronin Ring. Cool, we've got three things to look at now. Please don't get blown up for a wall. There is an item back here, right? No. Fucking slugs. Man, they're not as horrific as what the Dark Souls 3 slugs were meant to do and consume King's Garden, though. That was meant to be some fucked up stuff. In the best way possible, too. Pseudo Bloodborne. Back when Dark Souls 3 was meant to be more Bloodborne esque. Ah, well. We'll never know if what was gonna apparently be Dark Souls 3 or the beta stuff was gonna be better than what we got, but. Ah, it seemed cool. Again, don't take this as me hating Dark Souls 3. I really like the game. I really genuinely love it. I love all of them. I feel like I need to fucking say that every episode from how I uh, critique them. There's a reason I'm, like, being kind of picky with the Demon Souls remake. I'm critical because I care. Opposed to just being a shit and being negative for views. Yeah, I don't think that's a pillar of this channel. Alright, Chunk of Sucker Stone. Sick, sick, sick. I won't make that another another Queens of the Stone Age joke. Let's, um, okay. Let's pop these and then we'll, uh... Um, I'm probably muted that. Um, and if I did, it's because I knocked the mic. Woof, that was bad. Um, yeah, I'll uh, go deal with that. I'll try to detonate the, uh... The little flying mines, I'll describe them as such. Chucky is not being great today. She's been pretty good up until this point, but yeah, she's just kind of being a shit. Okay, so as you can see, there's more little nooks and crannies to explore. Come on. No time to read messages. I don't know, seems alright to me, man. Hmm. So this guy dropped some stuff. Yeah, so if it isn't quite apparent from when we went to Stone Fang previously, and my constant reference to it, a lot of shit in Stone Fang is weak to magic. Oh, we can't go up there, damn it. Um, yeah, so having sticky white stuff will help. Quite a bit. It's also kind of why I wanted to find Frake and do all that kind of stuff first. Um, because yeah, that boss is actually quite tough. Especially given it guards boss weapons, but I guess that's kind of the point. Yeah. You know. You know. Let's plonk these fuckers. Man, just a little more stat investment. And we could be doing so much more. What have we got here? Yeah, that stuff would kind of be a waste, so... Oh, white arrow! I meant to look at those. Sorry, that's when I um, got the uh, white bow. I believe they're basically like, well, they're meant to be the best type of arrows, I suppose. Don't know if they actually are, though. Okay, good. Shocky, the annoying fluffy cat that I love so dearly, is under the desk, just kind of grooming herself, so that's nice. A gnarled wood arrow. This legendary weapon is used with the white bow. It is at, Its attack power is extremely high. 115. It's not bad. It's pretty high. I don't remember where we get them from. For some reason, I'm thinking maybe Patches sells them. Probably not. Probably not. Stone of Ephemeral Ass. Yeah, yeah. We'll recommend you because we can. Cool. Now, I'm pretty sure we did everything in this cave, but before we progress and fall again, let's just have a look. Just to show this cave off for people who are, you know, the uninitiated, I suppose. I could describe them as such. <laughs> that sounds so fucking lame. Apologies, apologies. Rightio. Yeah, nah, we're good. Okay, nothing to worry about. Unless we get invaded, but huh, I don't think that's happening now. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to mute this audio. I'm just going to close my ensuite door. Cool, you shouldn't hurt that. Alright, now we're safe, let's look at this. Shard of Suckerstone. 
a shard of vampiric ore that sticks to the skin. It enhances curved swords, uh, dex weapons. Um, basically anything that can kind of bleed. It really is just um, curved katanas and daggers, I believe. Um, oh wait, no, maybe not daggers, but the broadsword is the one exception, being the only straight sword that can take it. Because it has bleed and it's a dex leaning one to begin with. Yeah, so, an orb that applies a strong bloodletting effect to a weapon. And this is a chunk, we look at that stuff. Uh, key items, I don't believe I got anything new, so nothing to worry about. We got weapons though. Hiltless. A hiltless Uchikatana. It has a blade, but seems faintly wet. It was forged by a famous swordsmith in a distant country, but since the wielder must grip the blade, it is extremely difficult to handle, causing damage to the wielder. So, we'll equip it in a second, have a look. If, um, Jockey wants to chill. I should have got rid of that. That was my first mistake. Um, what do we get? The Ronin's Ring, too. This is the Durability Ring. A ring made of saw stro uh, straw rope reduces weapon wear on weapons. A ring from a far faraway land known for its swordsmithing, said to be imbued with a distinct spell. So quite similar to the Master's Ring in description. Hmm. So that should be it. Let's have a look. Now I forget. I think it's per hit, per swing. We take damage. Yeah, what do we need for this? Like, really high dex, yeah? Yeah, 19. So they're not actually that high. Compared to our strength. It really wants you to two-hand this, by the way, if you can't tell. Yeah. Same moveset as the Uchi. Oh, phew, we almost flew off. That would have been great. Alright, cool. And we got a dagger, but you know what a dagger does. So I had to open that. Hopefully she goes in for a drink. Yeah, you know, the daggers do. We use those and stone things. Don't bother with fist weapons. <laughs> that seems like good advice. Alright. Now, let's do one thing. I probably won't be needing fresh spice. We can get rid of soul remains. We'll equip this, but in case... We'll, uh... We'll pop this on. Okay. Now... To be completely honest, the thief ring kind of makes this easier. So what I might do as a start is, I'll take it off to demonstrate this boss. He's one of the cooler in the game. Cool. Weird though, isn't it? So you'll notice this, the skeletons like stuck in the walls. And there was a legendary soldier's soul. Poor guy. So, I don't believe that Reaper can survive the drop. Maybe if you don't hit him hard enough, he can. Which would make this kind of shitty. Alright. So, this is one of the coolest bosses, in my opinion. For a few reasons. Yeah, someday it might be us. I'll pop the Thief Ring on eventually, because we'll really... I'm going to need all the help I can get. Meet the old hero. Now, he has his eyes covered. He is effectively blind. This battle works on sound. He will take swings and pot shots trying to find us, but he won't necessarily. If he hits us, this will hurt. So we are going to take it slow. You'll know when he knows where we are. He'll do something very distinct. So we're going to take this nice and slow. Oh fuck, we're doing nothing to him. Alright, here we go. So, you want to try to slow down. So he kind of knows... He somewhat knows where we are. 
In fact, he seems to know exactly where we are. He has lost us. Now I forget, does Demon's Prank work on him? Apparently not. So to make this a little easier on me, because I'm doing this hard mode due to my due to my low damage, um, I'm gonna pop the Faith Ring back on for at least a bit. So yeah, he is high damage, high aggression. When he knows where you are. So it's better just to take it slow. Slow and steady. Now I don't know if he's weak to sticky white stuff. But I imagine it can only help. And we got 11. So why not? So we're going to take it nice and slow. We're going to apply it. I think this will last for, um, 60 seconds just like turpentine. Could be right. I think he has a pattern as to the way he swings. But I'm not entirely sure. Alright, now we're going to two hand and go ham. So yeah, as you can see, FIFA Ring already making a big difference in terms of in finding us. I've seen some cool cosplay builds of this guy in Dark Souls 3 actually. Um, Sage's Blindfold, Xanthus Robe. Yep. He has a semi wrath of gods. Or God's Wrath, rather, in this game. So we can take our time, nice and slowly. Because I don't want to do this boss run again. So yes, I could be using projectiles, but I've got this, so fuck it. Let's get ready and go for one more. You'll probably know roughly where we are. So we're just going to walk nice and slow. It's um, it's similar to the, are they called, yeah, Garadors, is it from Resident Evil 4? I think they're called Garadors. So that's why you got to be chill. He has lost us. Rinse and repeat, really? Alright. Just going to slowly approach. When he goes for a swing, we run in. Okay, like such. gonna back up the fever ring really does make this easier a lot I don't know if he knows we're here because he hit hit us I don't think he does because it was just a random pot shot I kind of overstate how much for some reason for whatever reason I really love having um, items in the boss room I don't know, it's such a trivial thing, but I really, really like it. We've got to be quiet there, we got to be nice and quiet. We're hunting old heroes. So yeah, um, as you saw, we have the skeletons merged into the walls. We'll get a proper look at him later on. Fuck, we totally missed him. Um, as the cutscene demonstrated, he was in the wall and he came back to life, um, as a, like an astral projection of sorts, I suppose. But the fever ring also makes it so his range of hearing is also significantly lower. So yeah, um, the lock on kind of makes it hard to get away sometimes. Yeah, it is very similar from, uh, to the Garadors in Dark Souls. Uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> yes, in Dark Souls 1, Resident Evil 4. I mean, there's times Bloodborne feels like Resident Evil 4, which sounds asinine, but kind of true. Just mostly due to, like, um, the setting and the fact you've got these crazed villages. You know, it's all your fault and such. The snakes also help too. So we've only got to rinse and repeat like two or three times, depending. Okay, so we just take it nice and chill. We just be nice and calm. Like, honestly, I could probably speed this up a bit, but I'm enjoying this slow pace. Enter the survival horror. I've been meaning to mention, um... It's been well documented on this channel, but I'm a sucker, and I really enjoyed Remake 3. Um... So, I decided to finally buy Rem uh, the original Resident Evil 3. Because I've never got to play it. I had the old emulated version of RE2, the N64 version, using Project 64, 
and I've got the remaster of the original Resident Evil. So I really want to try Nemesis out. Um, so I'm going to casually be playing that. So I kind of like this fight for similar reasons to I like Resident Evil. It's nice and slow, you're being cautious, you're taking your chances while you can. Beautiful. That was probably a bit long, but hey. We shall obtain the demon soul from the power that is beyond imagination. And a lot of fucking souls, alright. Hero demon soul. Holy arrows, this is, these are what I was talking about. So let's give them a look. Good. Chalky has jumped up on a chair, so that's nice. Sorry, just closing that door again. A special ceremonial arrow that emits sound when it flies. It is said that this sound purifies evil. It is also enhanced with magic. Range attacks require that both a bow and arrows be equipped. So, Visu 150 magic. Pretty cool. We'll return in a sec. So, skulls on the walls. I meant to comment about them, but there's not a lot to say. So, the old hero is up there. Wrong thing. Old hero's up there. Being a pillar man, I suppose. Yeah, it's... Oh, this is the kind of thing that makes me go... Why didn't they bring this kind of gimmick back? I mean, I guess because it's been done once, so there's no point doing it again, but... I really like this. I really like this kind of fight, and I hope there's more emphasis on this kind of boss fight in Elden Ring. But, who knows? 